I welcome to the very interesting topic on this get RO property and get RO properties. These are the two methods which are belonging to the test objects. So what are the test objects? The objects which are literally existing in object repository are known as test objects. Here we go. So these are basically what we call it as a test objects. So all these things are known as test objects. Now, so every test objects do have properties, right? So we know this like OK button has some properties which are listed in object repository, right? Yes, so get TO property using this option. We can read the property value, the object which is listed in object repository. I mean to say if OK is listed in object repository, it's so OK has description properties so this okay's description properties can be this okay's description properties can be used or else can be taken as an output by using this get tvo property okay and the point what to be noted is whatever listed in the object repository only those properties you are Tool will pick get argo property has capability to pick only the properties which are listed in object repository or else simple I can say that if you talk of ok button I can take only two properties that may be text or div name if I want to get a height property it's impossible but whereas a runtime property get argo property it will bring whatever the property you want irrespective of whether they are stored in object repository or not but in this case, if you use get RO property of height, it will not bring any value. Why? Because height property is not stored in object repository. If I write get RO property of text, it will bring a property value called OK. Right? So let's have a look on this. Dot get RO sorry get tvo property of text here we go and let me take this into one variable called property name and let us print this let us have a look on the console print property name If I run this, obviously it will give an output saying that, okay, here we go. Here we go, okay. Okay, you can see the value 36, actually that is what the previous test one. Okay, so what, whatever you it may be, we got okay, right? Now, if I use in place of text if I use a property called height get tvo property of height get test object property of height but unfortunately there is no height in your object repositories here we have only text and div name and I am trying to get tvo property of height so it will not pick the value actually it will not give you that value why because height is not a property which is listed in object repository if you use get RO property, we will get it. But if you use get TO property, we will not get any value. Just have a look on the console. It is empty. It has not given up any value. The reason? Because that height property is not stored in object repository. That is what get RO property. Now, so in a real time scenario, some cases. You need to find what are the properties listed in object repository. Not only the properties listed and we need to read the, all the properties along with the names of it. Okay. There are a lot of cases we will get this in a real time scenarios. So for that we need to use get RO properties. If you take an example of OK button I have two properties. So first of all I want to know how many properties are there. That is first point. Okay. And what are those properties and what are the values of it. So even I want to know that. So for this we use get RO 
properties get ro properties let's have a look on this a very interesting one get ro properties now so i am saying get ro properties it's a plural right so i am it's not one it's a set i am going to get a set of properties so literally i need to take them into the set set of property name yeah or else let me take as just uh, prop a test object prop or uh, test obj okay so just a variable I have taken as test obj you can take any variable in place of that it's not mandatory to take the same one clear now so all the values are get ro property so that will be stored in test obj test objects literally okay now what i am trying to do is so first of all i want to know how many properties are listed for ok button in object repository so i need to count that set right so simple syntax test object dot count so this will give the count of test objects i mean to say count of the get ro property so if you have two properties in object repository your count will be two if you have five So let me take it as in a print so that it prints in a console and afterwards you can see it. Now let me read actually it may be 2 or 3 or 4 even I don't know. Okay. So let me. What we do is now. Let us read. So for that first we need to take a loop statement. For I is equal to. 0 2 0 2 test object dot count minus 1 so actually i can take from one to test objects dot count so but here it starts with zero so obviously i am taking from zero to test objects dot count minus one okay in the next line see here i want to pick the name and its value right so name should be text as example and value should be okay so i need to get the name and as well as value both i need to get so first I need to get name and for that I need to get the value. Okay. Okay, the value Okay. Test of variable what we have taken. Test of I dot name. So actually this will bring out your name text for the first iteration second iteration it will bring out div name for the point for each iteration it will bring the name property so here, here we have two actually so it iterates two times the script will be iterated two times so it will bring text once and div name once okay so let me print it but even i want a value of it so only this is not sufficient right so i'm percent so I'm going to combine the value, okay? And uh, so output should be like this: text value is okay, div name value is okay button, something like this. I'm just writing some static text. I'm percent again. Test of 
test object of i and uh, now i want value as simple as it so it first it will test object dot name so it will get let's assume that height so it is not there in the list but let's assume that height height value is the value it takes clear now uh, top of that simply set test obj is equal to nothing okay so let me run the test and let's as have a look on the output yeah have a look on the console here two it represents two what's to print test object dot com so it has two description properties and the first one is text and its value is okay and the next one is div name and its value is okay button as simple as it so this is what basically we use this get to properties and multiple properties can be abstracted from using this get rvo property method okay so we'll end this here in the next video we'll be having a look on get set to properties set to properties